Greetings, royal family. So it's time it's time for sisters, the great value version of, of Girlfriends. We on season three, episode 14. If you haven't heard, <laughs> Sisters has been renewed for a fourth season. My God today. So this is exactly how I look. See Sabrina's face. This is how I look every time I watch this show. Is anybody anybody else watching this show? I think I'm the only one probably still watching it. You know, I know like maybe two, maybe one other person that, that watches it off and on. Anywho, so this episode titled One Word Answers, okay? So the naked chick is standing in the kitchen with Calvin. That's supposed to be Sabrina's man, <laughs> you know. Uh, she's by Maurice's house. You know, they had gotten robbed. So she was over there chilling with Maurice. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what's happening. So a chick comes out into the kitchen. Oh, hey, you're Sabrina. I heard about you. I told you this was some dumb shit. I, I told you that the, the reasoning behind this naked chick and Calvin being naked is going to be something stupid. So Calvin is standing there naked saying that he can explain. So Sabrina, she ends up leaving. Calvin is yelling at Maurice because he's home. Why would you be yelling at Maurice being home where he pays? It's his house. You live with him. I... How is it that you didn't hear him and Sabrina in the kitchen? The apartment is only but so big. Anyway, whatever. It's supposed to be a show, right? Calvin says, because Sabrina doesn't want to commit, he doesn't feel that he's done anything wrong. So if Sabrina didn't catch him. He wouldn't have said anything. I'm confused. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like you guys didn't establish this. Why am I trying to make sense out of this? It's the same merry-go-round every season. So he and Sabrina just slept together and made up like two episodes ago. So Sabrina, she's she's upset. So back at Sabrina's place, the sisters, they're at Sabrina's house. They're waiting for her to arrive, and they are displaying their terrible acting, talking about nothing. Nothing. Talking about nothing. I don't know why Danny is sitting on the sink. She looked like it's it's kind of tight, uncomfortable. Andy is trying to act fake bougie, like she's not a home-wrecking whore, talking about how Sabrina needs better glasses and... Uh, Drinking glasses, wine glasses, so corny. Sabrina enters acting like she's not mad about what just happened over at Calvin's place, right? So they basically came to check on her because of what happened at the uh, at the bank. Sabrina, she tells the sisters that Calvin was in his room with a girl and how they just made up. <laughs> anyway, Andy claims that she doesn't know if Zach and Fatima are together Andy is saying anything because, you know, she doesn't want to be in the uh, the middle of her and Karen's situation. Karen, Andy's not your friend, okay? When are you, when are you, when are you chicks going to realize? Andy ain't a friend to nobody, okay? She's, she just uses you for what she can use you for. She's not loyal. I understand not wanting to get in the middle, but if the roles were reversed, trust me, Karen would have had all types of information and location laid out. So, Karen, I hope you recognize that and dial back on giving Andy too much because Andy don't be giving you much of anything. Andy, and now all of a sudden you want to be so righteous and stay out of it. Andy, you didn't stay out of Jasmine and Gary's marriage. You ain't stay out of that. Hmm? Whore. Anyway, so Calvin ends up knocking on the door and the sisters question him about everything that Sabrina has told him. So simple Sabrina, she's just standing there and she literally says absolutely nothing. And I just was like, Oh my God. So, you know, you got Danny talking about the man wearing panties. You got, uh, uh, what's her name? Andy giving him a whole bunch of sass and acting like she's ready to knock. If you buck, she ain't have that energy for Jasmine. Where is Jasmine? Where is wife client at? She been locked up for a minute. Nobody ain't bail her out yet. I want wife client back. Where's Gary's wife. You can't just get rid of her like that. Tyler Perry. She was funny. She was interesting. So Calvin, he gets fed up and tells Danny, you know, F her <laughs> and tells Sabrina that he expects to see her at dinner and she knows who he is and he doesn't need her friends speaking on her behalf. And she just stands there looking like an idiot. Just, just stupid. Sabrina, she ends up asking about Gary's wife. Yeah, Andy, where, where Jasmine at? Where is she? And all up in everybody else's business and, and Jasmine is on her ass. You don't even know if Jasmine is creeping in the bushes looking for you. Popping up in your house. Karen says that she's going to call Zach because she wants to talk to him. All I can do is just shake my head. This is pathetic. Uh, Danny, she's going to see Rodeo. I, I thought that he wasn't talking to her. Okay. That scene was long and drawn out. 
um rodeo was trying to speak slang it, it was it was painful to watch their relationship just makes zero sense next uh andy and gary you know she enters the apartment like hey like like they're not arguing or fighting so gary he's planning on moving out and he didn't plan on telling andy <laughs> andy's actually upset about this andy's a weirdo hands down like I said before, she wants people to like lust after her, chase after her. She's a total weirdo. Why, why are you upset that Gary's moving? Andy seems to be bothered by Gary's therapist. Gary's therapist is weird too. Just like this whole situation, this relationship. Andy says that, you know, she's a quack because she's encouraging Gary to leave Andy. My, 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 have the tables turned, huh, Andy? Hmm? The tables have turned. Anyway, Gary says that he's leaving, um... And Andy tells him to do so. She's like, go. You know, she's been real tough lately since this new light-skinned man, lawyer man, has, has appeared. And he's going to be taking over her, her, her firm. And she's going to be working for him now. So she's talking cash-ish. So she don't care about no Gary, right? She's acting like she don't care. And she says, good, leave my key. He says, look, if I leave, I'm not coming back. There is no coming back. She says, cool, just leave my key. And I'll change the locks. He leaves. I doubt that this will be the end of Gary. At least I hope not. Gary is one of the most interesting characters, although he's gotten boring. Um, you you can't just you can't just rub out Gary like that. Who who do, who are we gonna have left? Oh my God! Shifting gears to Zach and Fatima. He tells Fatima that he got the house, and he will be moving in soon, and he wants Fatima to move in with him. Right now, Karen. Let me tell you about Karen and Aaron. You need to write Aaron out. Get rid of Aaron. He's boring. So Karen's lonely and confused behind. She calls Zach and leaves him a message telling him that she misses him and wants him to stop by her place. Aaron ends up showing up to Karen's place with food. Apparently, she must have forgot that they were supposed to hang out. Karen was dressed up. She had candles lit, hoping Zach would, you know, stop by. And she totally forgot that Aaron was stopping by. Karen is annoying. Leave Zach alone. He has moved on. He has matured. You don't want to see him with anybody else. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, you still love him. No, you love the idea of him now. Leave, Just move on. Leave him alone. Aaron is boring. That's exactly why she she misses that. She wants that old thing back. She misses the spice and the the aggression and the passion that she had with, uh, with Zach. Aaron is boring. What does Aaron do? He's still a preacher, counselor. What? What is it? Are we going to find out that he's the one that actually used Karen's credit card? Who is the person? Like, this credit card company is very slow. Did she file a claim? Who stole the credit card? We, we, we just Tyler Perry just leaving plots dangling all over the place like Christmas decorations. Like, just, nah, I don't feel like continuing that plot. Who stole the credit card? Is it Aaron? Make it interesting. She tells Aaron that she, you know... She don't want no love making. You know, they're watching a movie. The movie's boring. Karen's bored. So they start making out. He was getting ready to leave. They start making out. So she says, I don't want you to make love to me. She says she wants to be blanked. She wants to be pounded, hammered, nailed. Okay. Now they start kissing and groping and whatnot. And what does Karen do? She calls Aaron Zach in the heat of the moment. Yeah, I totally didn't see that coming. Girl, th th Tyler, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? You just said, forget it. You know, BET is giving me money, so just screw it. I'm going to just do whatever, right? So she, she calls Aaron Zach. So not only has Aaron now caught Karen having sex with Zach in her office, they about to get hot and heavy, and he gets called Zach. So Aaron, what, what you, what you, what, what's up? You staying? Like, what? Karen don't want you. She liked the idea of you. You were a rebound. So what, he gonna, is he going to stalk her? Let's make Aaron interesting. Let's make him a stalker. Let's make him a thief. You know what I'm saying? Like a, 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 a high-level criminal. Like, you know, let's, let's make it interesting. Child, I'm tired. If y'all seen this episode, then I know I'm not the only one that was bored. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know, y'all. This is just a, a repetitive cycle. None of these characters are interesting. I find myself saying the same thing over and over again. Um, I try to find the funny in it, but this is just, this is just sad. So if you, if you wish, drop down in the comments and share your thoughts. Like the video if you liked it. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. I love you for watching, as always. Until next time, y'all. Peace.